What's up everybody, I'm Bugs. Welcome back to Off The Wall. You probably know me, I'm here on the channel all the time, but I'm with my boy, who you guys haven't seen before, he's making his debut on the channel. Today, talking about Cobra Kai Season 5. It is my boy, Colin Morris, how you doing? Buddy, it is so good to see your face. This feels like we should be worried about getting COVID or lockdown or, you know, crazier shit crazier times and here we are now on season five of cobra kai when we met what was it, like season two yes they've been they've been running them out they've been knocking mm. this thing out of the park it is it is must see television Damn right. it, it is talked about on all the major platforms over here in the states like if you are a nerdy american youtube channel you are talking about i know it's all over the world like, this thing is taken off. It's got shirts at Target. When you've got a shirt for twelve ninety nine at Target and you're next to, like, Dragon Ball Z, Hey Arnold, you know, the classics, it's there now. And it's it's here to stay. And I am oh, can't wait to talk about it. Well, I have to give you credit, actually, because you are the one that actually introduced me to Cobra Kai. Uh, well, you and Sean, to be fair. Uh, you guys both said to me, I think I, I mentioned something like, oh, I've seen a trailer for this Cobra Kai thing. I love the Karate Kid movies, but I didn't really want to see it because the trailer didn't look that good. And you got you two flipped out, absolutely flipped out and said, yo, you need to watch it. You have no idea. And it was from there. I think that weekend or like the next day I binged it. And I was just in love from the first episode. So absolutely, I need to shout you out and Sean um, for sure. He's also been on the channel for anyone who, who doesn't know who I'm talking about. Uh, yeah absolutely credit you guys for putting me on because to be honest it's one of my favorite shows of all time like literally it's that good i, I love it so and um, where did you yeah, first watch for. it i'm curious on, on netflix okay, yeah, on netflix. okay so okay. pre i am part of the youtube red generation of the right, show right, right. like i remember yes. because i have so it's like the weirdest connection but like i've had youtube red or youtube premium because of the ability to like, I remember i remember you telling me <laughs> like forever just because yeah. of like listening to like collider Skipping podcasts and stuff, amc yeah. movie talk back in the day before they like had the podcast feed and they were doing all that and it was just part of my habits and then it was like hey here's this thing and i was like you get out of town this is basically the equivalent of like the Karate Kid and Top Gun were pretty rad in my household growing up. Like my right, dad right. being a Navy, sure. a Navy guy, uh, you know, he, he loved Top Gun. He somehow credits Top Gun for wanting him to go into the Navy so he could just see the planes uh, fly. Totally off understandable. Yeah, yeah. It's like I mean, shout out to him for that. Like I mean, right. that's rad. For sure. And, you know, the Karate Kid was just as rad to us. Cool. Like we, like we thought it was so cool. And then mm. a lot of that really translated over to me liking like Dragon Ball Z or any of mm. like the animes where people are getting to like martial arts and fighting and stuff like that. And then it translated over to me finding like the uh, the Donnie Yen Ip Man franchise, which I actually just finished the finale last night. And it's so weird that I watched, I just finished the last two episodes of Cobra Kai today before we started this. Cobra Kai's uh, stunts are on par with chinese from, from the mandarin <laughs> uh film company putting out which this dude in here is in that movie is is bruce lee it's like they mm -hmm. go to america and bruce lee is there so it's like young bruce lee is also in this movie like doing doing the insane gymnastics and shit but this looks real when you're watching johnny and the four goons from hell beating him up like, mm. it looks like he's taken every one of these hits in the face. It For looks sure. so good. Uh, th that was one of the selling points that you told me. The choreography in particular was so impressive. Um, I didn't believe it when you told me. I was like, no way. These these old guys, you know, they're in the 60s. Because uh, Ida, absolutely. And you mentioned something there that is so true. Like, um, this was pre-superheroes like these karate movies they were our superheroes like this i don't know three ninjas and you know all the other kind of other kung fu martial arts movies before obviously uh you know we got you know batman and and, and x-men etc obviously superman as well but before that as a young 
person, um, a young adult watching the Karate Kid. Yes, that was that. That was they were our superheroes because you had the whole uh, lore about it, and you know, Master and Apprentice and all that. Uh, but I just want to get your review quickly of season five as a whole. Um, what are your overall thoughts on it? You know, we've mentioned we both love it, to be honest. So, uh, in fact, let's just get the negatives out of the way. There isn't any. So we'll go to the positives. Uh, no, no, if you will come to any negatives in a bit, but just your overall thoughts in a minute or so. Uh, and where do you actually, no, in fact, we'll save that to the last, where you rank the season. Uh, just give me overall thoughts on season five. Season five to me did one of the better jobs of inserting a new story on many different fronts and paying it off mm. in the end, specifically with the new Cobra Kai sensei, uh, the mm -hmm. female sensei with the flashbacks that mm -hmm. they started with, things like that, and then having that all pay off towards the end. This season to me was complete. It knew what it was setting out to do. Uh, I would argue that this is like, it, it felt at moments like Empire and it felt like Return of the Jedi, like <laughs> all at the same time. Like there were moments of like, like in the same episode where you're seeing Silver slice up Chosen mm. and it's like, you don't know, but you kind of know like, hey man, they might syndicate this. They're not going to kill that guy. You know, like, like, like they're not going to kill him, but they're going to slice him up a little bit. And I was worried even in that moment, I'm like, he might kill 100%. that guy. And then 15 minutes later, Johnny ducks out of the way and a dude gets two fingers cut off. And then Johnny mm. turns around and kicks that dude in the face as he just got his two fingers cut off. Right. There's just insane moments of this that are so... Like, it, it knows the audience, it knows what they want, and the payoffs all throughout the season, everything from, I mean, what was, I mean, it, it had everything you wanted. It paid off the Mikey Barnes. I mean, come on. That was insane. The scene where he comes in and they, he's, like, messing around with Danny yeah. for, the, for, for, like, one second in the Chosen. furniture store. And Chosen's like, oh, hell no! <laughs> and comes in only to find out that Chosen's also beat up, like, four guys. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. then he makes them carry the couch that Danny now needs to buy Don't Chosen. Don't get blood on it. His yeah, back's yeah. hurt. That was just like the payoff on payoff on payoff yes, on payoff. Yes, like every yes. episode seemed to have it. To go back to the beginning of the season, the Miguel storyline was just I, – I think if there is a part – a weaker part that may not have had as much payoff as others, it mm -hmm. would just be like, okay, is Miguel's dad just a shitty person? Or – wait for it. Is he going to come back in season six because he literally runs a Mexican fight ring and he's going to enter in his people into the contest and they're all going to have to fight or they'll just be there. I don't think they're going to put grown people up against kids, <laughs> even though Robbie did hold his own, but his dad was there. I don't yeah. know how Robbie would have done. If Johnny wasn't there, when yeah. they were in FBI t-shirts, mm. one of the wildest things of like, oh no, the oh, worst thing no. you could wear. Yeah, literally. It was just uh, like this weekend on Spoiler Alert, Game of Thrones, when Spoiler Alert said thing to Spoiler Alert, not knowing that she thought it was somebody else that she was about mm. to talk about, right? And you're like, no, okay. don't say the words. You're gonna say something stupid, and they're like, why are you wearing an FBI shirt into a club? You look like morons. Like, even turn it inside out. I feel like there yeah. should have been a moment. Like, Robbie's a smart guy who's literally been in jail. Yeah, Robbie's true. literally been in jail multiple times. And it's like, no, nah, this is cool. We're going to walk in. And then it's just like, everybody's, like, intimidated until they walk past and they read the shirt. And they're like, <laughs> oh, okay, it's funny. But until they turn around, they're a threat. They're two like sternly looking white dudes walking into right. a club. Yeah, the FBI. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, my my uh, you know I, I pretty much agree. You know, it is it's uh, beautiful. Honestly, every 
episode pays off everything and you know you just off the back of what you said you know there's so many uh kind of character journeys and and the coming full circle or like the continuing they're moving along with their character development like for example johnny how many things did he get tied up this season that where in previous seasons i have found not a little frustrating but you know he's doing the same thing having the same like same problems with daniel same problems with robbie you know uh, falling out with miguel you know uh, having issues with just society and not growing up that whole thing but all these things get resolved and they move forward to tell new stories for example you know johnny sorts out his relationship with robbie um uh, and obviously you know with um danny uh danny uh, larusso he kind of he's the one advising him in this episode you know obviously he grows up like kind of throughout a couple of episodes with the whole baby thing uh, so many payoffs and reliefs from the previous storylines like oh okay like he's moving on now and then getting obviously miguel and robbie together i thought they were adorable you know as friends like i thought that from the first season like, i wish these guys were friends like they could achieve so much more with that kind of stuff but overall the season you know for me you know i have serious hardcore love for the movies uh one two three and four i'm talking about but you know the miyagi verse these this series for me was a payoff for the movie lovers it was the the the, the some of the scenes with the villains uh of his dad i'm talking larusso's villains like I, I I thought like I thought I had an idea of what things would look like with Mike Barnes, with Johnny, with Chosen, but together, fight, like I was get, I got emotional several times watching this. You know, I, I love, yeah, I love Karate Kid Three. I like I understand one is the better movie and it's a classic and uh, it's you know amongst some of the best eighties movies uh, of the best eighties movies. And, you know, Oscar nominated. Correcting like Karate Kid universe, like this is exactly a that's true. This that's is true. like when you and I talk about Star Wars. Like we're not talking about like how it no. was done. No, no I'm talking about the all. choices these people make as choices. Like the the, the, the the you talked about Johnny, and you talk. Mm. We've talked about this before in the past. That to some boy is that a dead horse that had been mm. beaten season after season of Johnny messing up. That's why he wasn't my favorite character like, going into the season. Guess who because only of got the repetitive drunk and did something stupid lines. one time? Johnny only yeah. did something drunk and stupid one time this season, and it mm. paid off great because mm. he went into like super saiyan. It was amazing, dad, yeah. Like, which <laughs> I think is the best thing. If if you played fantasy sports in any capacity, you've heard this legend before. New dad energy is real. So, like, there's all these rumors of, like, guys, like, okay, the, his wife just had a baby, like, four days ago. He's probably right. going to have, like, four touchdowns this weekend. You know, like, he's going to go off. <laughs> no. It's going to be he's crazy. He sees yeah. that baby yeah. picture, man, and <laughs> it is on. And I love yeah. it. And it just paid off the whole season because he did all the work that everyone told him he needed to do in his life in one season mm -hmm. because of that kid. And yeah. now, was he going to let all of that work that he did over the course of 10 mm. episodes go to mm. waste? They were going to kill him. There is no way. They were going to kill him. They got him. the order. Finish what him. are they going to do? Chop his arm off? Like, no. Like, I don't know, like, how they were going to get these guys to stop. Like, I yeah. Silver never said, like, no, more, you know, like, kill him. He said finish him. He said finish him. But, yeah. like, you know, like, that's, like, their way of saying, like, in Pokemon, they faint. They don't die, and then they go into the Pokeball, and then you heal it, and then you can use it again later. That's kind of what I think Cobra Kai does. It's like if you, right. like Chosen was finished, hmm. right? Like he wasn't getting up hmm. after four slashes in the back, right. and one on the arm. That was rough. so. Oh, and what my behind the knee? That, yeah, that yeah, yeah. He, three times I think he got slashed. Wow. Yeah, but the one more point was about uh the movies right one is obviously the classic three but personally personally three is my favorite and on the on the back of that i know that that one gets the most criticism right but i just have it i think it's i think it's a legit good movie you know we spoke about this before like i genuinely genuinely think it is a good movie um i was obsessed with terry silver as a kid i thought it was a fantastic you know, of the 80s um you know seeing you know, my favorite villains were like Vader, um, you know, uh, the Fratellis and the Goonies, uh, Terry Silver, you know, I, I, uh, Ivan Drago. I love Terry Silver. 
And now the store, the payoff, he's like the emperor. I have to, his, his act, the guy hasn't acted in 15 years. He's now leading a series on Netflix, you know, starring scenes with like, I don't know, Paul Waterhouse. And in the biggest show in the world, like the guy is so good. And off the back of that, what you said there, Mike Barnes. Oh man, I mean, my heart, he was out of the three movies, me personally, he, I don't know why, really. He was my favorite of, of the villains, of Johnny's uh rivals for, uh, sorry uh, uh, danny's rival uh, for some reason i just love that guy and i was it was such a payoff seeing him back and the small little details or lines that they referenced in the third movie or like any you know any of the kind of original movies and that's what i mean this it, it was such a love letter to the movies now just going on to the criticisms uh, and sorry one one last thing as well about the um something that i love like for me, you know, we call it the Karate Kid and, you know, it's the Miyagi versus that, but the Karate Kid is Daniel LaRusso, okay? So, for me, he should always be the, and he is to a certain extent, but, like, in previous seasons, but he should always be the star of the show, meaning that he's the chosen one in this story. He has the chi, he has the balance, so well, I the prefer... Russos are the Skywalkers. Yeah, for 100%. I prefer the endings where Danny has... A fight like for example this one and the one with Chris and johnny and robbie a little bit uh that one as opposed i mean i do really like the tournament fight don't get me wrong they're fantastic and the the fight in the house and the school it's all great but for me it's more emotional to see johnny you know uh and, and daniel stuff kind of uh fight off their ghost and obviously him you know fighting silver at the end doing the crane kick silver mocks him when he's in Cobra Kai doing the, when LaRusso's in Cobra Kai as a youngster doing the crane, what are you going to do? When the, you're going to beat Mike Barnes with the stupid crane kick and he beats it. That's what I mean. It's a 35 year payoff. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, just going on to, we'll, we'll get into more detail stuff, but going on to any criticism that you have. Okay. I'll tell you mine. I'll tell you mine. I don't personally have any. I, honestly, I, I'll get into what I think of this season uh, when we wrap up, but I, I'm in love with this show. But I will say the criticisms that I've seen um, that I can hear, I don't agree with, but I hear, is number one is, yes, the Miguel storyline. Um, people say the first couple of episodes were a bit slower than the rest of the season. But for me, I really enjoyed them. Um, I got a lot out of them. For me, it was a way for, um, you know, for him to, for Sholo, to actually show his acting range. And show why he's being cast in DC as Blue Beetle and things like that. Because... Please don't cancel that movie. Whatever no, I don't think you so. I think he's filming. do, make yeah. me buy Discovery Plus to watch the <laughs> creepy Armory Hammer story. Because trust me, I want to watch it. But please don't cancel Blue Beetle. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. But anyway, what I'm saying is the range of emotion he shows, you know, from being such a sweet guy to... Uh, to aggression, to emotional, you know, with his whole, with his mom crying on the phone and Johnny turns up and how he is with Robbie and then later on with Sam, like, he touched, like, I think, wow, like, that's actually legit, legit acting. Um, like, yeah, all that stuff, man. Like, he, he his range, this series, uh, was the probably the best in season one, I'd say. So I was really impressed with him. Uh, as a, That's what I mean, people saying that slow. I didn't see it that way. Uh, the other criticisms, I'd say, uh, there isn't that much Hawk in this season. You know, he did win the tournament last season and he has been a starring, you know, character in this season. I think people wanted to see more of him. He did have things to do, especially in the last couple of episodes. But overall, there was a little um, bit less of him. And off the back of that, so my third thing is that um, this series, and I prefer the series in this way, by the way, I'm about to say, the series, season five, uh, has focused more on the OG characters, um, whether it's Silver, Danny, obviously uh you know chosen johnny etc the adults right as opposed to the kids there wasn't that much mentoring Summer this year, you know, that much the pool. They're real exactly <laughs> but that's what i mean they got the side things they got the little things but there they wasn't were, actually they, they like down in season B one and season two yes honestly i prefer it like that personally mm -hmm. Me because too. I'm, a, I'm a fan of the movies I, you know a huge fan of the movies and the OG character i love the kids they can wrong, do it with but... 36 minutes too because they fluctuate yeah. between 36 42 for I think sure the last for me, was they get it right for time. me they get it right there's no there's no absolutely i prefer the story this way but that is a criticism of season five but okay so they're my three feel free to respond to them and tell me your if any you have criticisms of season five so something that i'm just kind of processing in my brain because i really haven't thought of, i watched it all in one day and then mm -hmm. went to i went to i watched eight of them 
went to work for the first time after having COVID and then came back and watched the back too. So I haven't really thought about it in like 10 days. So sure. getting it all out there, I think the Miguel stuff almost would have been like, you could tell they shot it all separately. So, mm. like, and everything in like Mexico, AKA like wherever they actually were. Right, right. But like, we could have shot all that. And I think mm. it would have been cool as like a little 90 minute thing of Cobra Kai goes to Mexico and release that and then let him coming back in the story and everything. Because then I think you have more time for Hawk. There's probably a storyline for him. He doesn't really go through any thing really honestly the, the not really no. ear level kids are more torn up that the that uh that penis breath ends up <laughs> over on cobra kai yeah, right? yeah. Like, like that, How's that got more me, than i think anything that happens to hawk all season aside from Probably. hawk like in the swimming pool but i wasn't mm. really like it was like i was yearning for him because then they mm. give him the opportunity when he goes and he fights in the mm. uh in the inner uh, dojo little scrimmage yeah the mini finale that they did yeah, yeah yeah and uh, i have real robbie problems mm. i don't know who robbie is besides the diffuser who nobody ever listens to now the payoff between him and who is the little kid kenny. and kenny if that payoff hmm. is mega to hmm. where like Kenny and him are now like, you know, like if you, if you think about like we're, we're loading up the roster, there, there's things that, that I think they've done that seem like weaknesses now, which is literally the definition of this show, taking things that are weak from prior things and expunging upon them and making them better and and deeper mm. to make you appreciate what happened before right like how how much better is it going back and watching a movie since you've seen the show it's so much better mm. it means more going back and seeing three now with two seasons of terry silver and now knowing kind of his uh his cap that is end to his and you his see the run. flashes which explain is what he is you know explain even on coke the whole time etc well yeah carry right exactly and it all kind of comes together I think the weaker things that we see in this season are going to have payoffs. Like I mentioned previously, mm. Miguel's dad is coming back. The guy literally runs a fight ring and we're going to a world fighting tournament. Like this mm. is literally Dragon Ball Z. This sh I've said it before. This show is Dragon Ball Z in real life without like energy blasts. And Daniel literally hit him with a like in the <laughs> when he hit him in the chest like man mm. can't breathe. <laughs> I th but I think the best move of that entire fight is when right. Daniel catches his fist between his knee yeah, and yeah. his elbow. <laughs> that is the toughest one of mm. them all. I thought it was just like, oh, no, 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 no. You're not going to get me. And call me Danny Boy one more time. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Because he used to obviously wheel him in and tease him in the third movie about this old Danny Boy. And he's, he's 60 years old. He's still calling me Danny Boy. And it's like, oh, you're still, you're still that guy. I love that. Nancy. Okay. It's like that. Because my guess, forehand yeah. or like my backhand was weak and he'd call my backhand Nancy. Uh, and then okay. my dad heard it. Okay. And it was mm. over. And then all <laughs> I heard when my dad and I played tennis was Nancy. And so, yeah, it was like, call me Nancy one more time. And then you just right. read the serve right at him. Yes. Like, I'll be dead. He was like, all right, this is over. You said that in front of my wife. You said that in front of my kids. Like, I'm, right. I'm, I'm sick of these adults talking mm. shit to me in front of my family for five seasons, which is really right. what this show has been. It's been a different person from yeah. his past coming and putting albeit a cracked mirror in front of Danny's face, mm. but yeah. every one of them has brought up legitimate things from his past that he's mm. had to face yeah. over the course of the show and tackle, which ultimately mm. leads him to this moment to mm. now be the best version of Daniel we've seen on the show in terms of like ready to embrace what it's going to take to mm. be the sensei. Yeah, like the most balanced Yoshi. version of himself. Like, yeah. what if, like, I mean, I don't think he's going to sell the car dealership. Like that would be crazy. Mm. But like, I think he's probably going to fully step away from the car dealership if we're like training for a world tournament. Like that's going right. to be pretty insane. Mm. But going back to the Robbie stuff, I just don't know like what he wants 
Mm. What uh, aside from like uh, I think a line that would have meant a lot to Robbie, kind of from the writer's eyes to us, is when Johnny gets out of the Hummer stretch limo mm. at uh, in Cobra Kai in the finale, mm. and he walks up to Miguel's mom, and he's yeah. like, "For you, for Miguel." for Robbie. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, bro, just say Robbie before Miguel, right? Like, say <laughs> your literal son's name uh, before Miguel, and it would have just been like, okay, we mm -hmm. have been through everything together. But you could kind of sense that they did a good job of wrapping up what episodes one through three meant mm -hmm. after the fight scene in the courtyard, and then after they were all like, oh, I guess we're having dinner together, right? And, there, and then that kind of puts a capper on that and then for the rest of the season you're just like i guess robbie and miguel are friends now and everything's okay and they're never gonna fight again right which i guess like now that they know they're gonna have a brother like if it, it's gonna be yeah. like hey your dirty laundry was left in the like bathroom but please god don't have a karate fight in the hallway about it like it's gonna be his mom's biggest problem but I so, think that's something for Robbie to grow on. If they can really yeah. let him become a part of a family finally, mm. as he's been the the nomad on the show, right? He's moved around from dojo to dojo. Yeah. It would be nice if they let him settle down and actually create relationships instead of constantly searching for him. Mm. Yeah, um, I mean, you have a point. I, I did think I was I was happy with Robbie's character art because he now has balance. Um, to a certain extent, anyway, because before, like you said, he was jumping from Jojo jo to family to family, person to mentor to mentor, you know, from LaRusso to, to Johnny to Chris. Um, and, you know, he, he just didn't want to go with Silva. You know, he mended that relationship with his dad. Like, they're so sweet together. Like, honestly, like, I wanted them to have this relationship in season one. I was like, I, I just never thought Robbie would mature enough um, to let his dad in. And he did. And, and he did it with Miguel. Like, I was so surprised. And that, that was such a heartwarming scene when Johnny tells them that Carmen was pregnant and how happy they are. I was like, what? Like, I thought they'd, they'd have a fight uh, in previous seasons or over that. But that was so nice. Like, like uh, I'm, I'm glad that people are moving forward with their storylines. Um, but I want to know your uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe three or whatever, or just generally your standout highlight moments of the season, whether it's a scene whether it's a fight scene, whether it's an acting performance, whether if you got emotional or anything, whether it's a funny scene, anything like that. I mean, if you need to think, I can go. But uh, no, I, you I know, definitely, I definitely have, I, I definitely have them we, yeah. in no particular order. Sure, it's sure. what we just talked about when the boys find out yeah. that they're pregnant. It was good. That yeah. was so good. I, yeah. I they uh, that's kind of the start of because I thought, how's Miguel going to take that? And he's like, right. dude, that's all. Awesome. Like, I was like, oh, come on, man. Like, I probably wouldn't react like that. But like how, like, oh, I don't know. It was, uh, it was, it was really nice. The show, it does a good job. And it's starting to trend in the Ted Lasso sphere where Ted Lasso subverts your television expectations about like mm. somebody being mad about somebody and they're uh, about anything. And they're like, mm. no, it's, it's fine. We just need to talk about it and, and move on and everything's going to be okay. Right. right. Like we can just talk about things. And this show's finally getting there, except sometimes talking involves having a quick little karate fight beforehand. But then you're sure. friends afterwards, and yeah. everything's okay. And I, that, to me, was just the encapsulation of, like, those two dudes constantly being meeting at the wrong times of every one of their situations. Every time mm -hmm. those two ended up getting in a scuffle, one had gotten yeah. in a fight, one had been something, and then they run into each other like, oh, I don't even want to do this right now. And then they fight, and then they get into it. And there was four seasons of that. That, now, that was another thing. Sorry yeah. sorry to cut you there. But about Robbie, he, he grew and developed, and he learned his lesson in this season because Miguel has twice shown him mercy the first time. You know, he kind of Cobra kai him over the, you know, over the barrier in the school. The second time outside, you know, with Johnny kind of overseeing, um, he showed him mercy there. And he, I think from that point onwards, he knew, listen, I've got to squash this beef. Uh, you know, this isn't me. This is co the Cobra Kai in me kind of thing. This is Crease or whatever. Uh, this is my anger. And he's learned to mature and grow. That's why I liked Robbie this season. 
He um, turns into a Jehovah's way more than just yeah, a little bit. Time, right? <laughs> like, guys, like, stop! Hey, stop man, fighting. calm like, down, bro. Michael Jackson, the beta video, like, just stop, stop. You know, I still get along. Yeah. Every time um, for like yeah. six episodes, it's like yeah. everybody. Kenny, Tori, Hawk, yeah, he does. He it should have walked too. around with like a peace joint and been yeah. like, "Can we all just go smoke out back and everybody will calm <laughs> down a little bit, man?" And he's kind of got that vibe, like he could have been on Beverly Hills 90210 if he was cast right. different, like if he, if he was supported. Yeah, different. I think. I think he was in Disney uh, on some kind of Disney show back in the day. Oh, okay. uh, I think they all were, apart from some. Um, but yeah, so they, they've got that in them. But let I'll go next. So and um, we'll just go back and forth. So I will say, I mean, there's literally literally dozens I can pick from. But me having the scene of when, when Daniel was beaten by Silver, and then kind of the next episode was like a Daniel heavy episode, like where everyone got together to try and lift him up because they need him to obviously take on silver and stuff. And the way that Chosen and Johnny were talking uh, retrospectively about Danny, like, oh, like first they were talking about, when like they're trying dancing, to get one over each other about bullying. Like, oh, dancing, you know, when, when, no, uh, no, no, when, when Chosen and Johnny are talking to each other. Right, right, right. While Danny's and, on the floor dancing and they're like alone and Chosen's pretty drunk at the club. No, 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 not in the club, not in the club. Oh, okay. So like when they're, they're walking like a parking lot or something and, and Johnny was saying like, oh, you know, I, I kicked his ass in high school. And Chosen, like, we fought to the death. And then, and then Chosen spins it and says, but he showed me honor and uh and then johnny was like yeah he always got up i was like oh damn you guys are getting me like you literally i literally got choked up i was like he always gets up because uh, as we've seen in i think it was the book of boba fett where you know luke tells grogu as he's training always get up and i just saw the connection and it just touched me like i saw like you know these are people that gave him help get chosen gave him help uh, before Miyagi got involved in the Karate Kid, I counted, right? Cobra Kai and Johnny beat the shit out of Danny four times before Miyagi got involved. Yeah, these guys taught, messed his life up uh, as a kid. And then these guys now, to be talking about him so endearing, saying, I've learned from him. And that's a reflection of the Miyagi, you know, Miyagi Do and, and get, have, finding your balance. I just thought it was full circle. And I thought it was so respectful of the law. And another thing I forgot to mention at the start, Cobra Kai is the flag bearer of how to respect a original story, original IP, and move the story forward and progress with these characters and also slowly bringing in new characters um, that make us care. And then that makes us care about them and invested in them because you're bringing them along with the OG characters. So that this is the premier show in Hollywood, quite frankly. Um, about, of how to do that and, and the standard bearer um, so yeah that, that was definitely a highlight uh, one for me that scene but uh, please um, oh. next highlight for you it's got to be the training dummy scene with Tori right. that yeah. one was Dude. rough okay you go you go I, I, I was going to okay that, this was one of mine like, that is wrong. just like a full mental breakdown just a full beatdown. I'm going to say something that this scene wrong. reminds me of Okay, and I, I'm hoping you pick it up before I say it, but carry on. It, it is, it, it, it felt like we were watching Star Wars. <laughs> there we go. There we go. But which, which, of course it does. Uh, I know like, exactly what it, what it reminded me of. Uh, bro, like, as soon as I say it, them, you're going to agree. Like any mm. of them, like, like it just to me felt so pure of mm. like these people are literally gonna push this poor girl to the limit mm. when then you get the flip of her at home putting ice on her hand yeah. with pizza boxes and mm -hmm. cereal boxes and trash everywhere and because comes, yeah. wait for it she's a 17 year old girl <laughs> taking care of her dying mother with cancer <laughs> like yeah. holy shit what like what are we talking about? And then you guys like don't even care. Like at least Kreese cared, but then mm. Kreese didn't give 
Silver, like the CIA info breakdown on every one of his soldiers that he was transferred over <laughs> in the in the switchover. Right, like right. you didn't get the full breakdown of all these people of how you need like at least Crease knew every yes, one of them. Yes. You, you know, he knew how to like Crease got the best out of Hawk. Crease hmm. got Hawk to his physical peak, made him believe mm -hmm. in himself and to shed that. I'm Robbie, self -doubt. Doggy. Yeah. yeah. It's nuts, and he really did that for Tori and gave Tori confidence, and I thought that that was just so good, mm -hmm. the, the the duality of her pain in that moment when the fist goes through, mm -hmm. and you see, oh, my God, it looked, oh, man, that thing looked like it really hurt. And then, like, not even, I think it's like 12 hours later, she's, mm -hmm. like, in the dojo fighting that crazy bitch with, yeah. two, with the two other girls. The the other girl who came from mm. the uh, Jewish dojo, right, like yeah, came yeah. over and was like, "Oh, we're gonna do this together, and I'm gonna be champ my way." Mm. I was like, "Ooh, that sounds like if either of these two other girls to Seven, are done was, with yeah. this show, they have another lead." Because I thought she did a really good job. She did, yeah. Of being one of doing that tv thing at least in this show where one character starts one way in the first five episodes and then mm. they slowly work their way into their final form for this season and i thought her final form was pretty endearing and now i don't know if all three if all these people are training and they give all these characters time mm. just to go to this tournament this tournament better be five episodes or i'd be pissed mm. seriously like we better go to japan yeah yeah, I don't want to see this in like Burbank. I don't want to see <laughs> yeah. people like yeah. with their cell Make phones grander, out, yeah. like, oh my god. Make it like <laughs> far from home, you know, like the way they go away and stuff. But um no, the uh that her name's Devin, that character. I thought she was good. Devin. And the, the the female sensei as well, uh Kim. Uh, Kim. she was fantastic as well. Yeah, I've never seen her work before. Hello Lucy good. Lou vibes. Yeah, for sure. Super Lucy Lou vibes. And off what you're saying about Tori, yeah, this is the best she's been in a long time. Um all the physical stuff she was doing uh she's the best kind of um she's the strongest fighter in cobra kai right now to be honest so um and that scene that scene that you're talking about with that when they use that thing that's in the karate kid three that's sylvia used it with danny that's where they have you know a man can't see you can't you can't fight man can't breathe you can't fight a man can't stand you can't fight he did it on that thing so um obviously there's a callback there but that scene when her hands busted and she's looking up and her hair's all in her eyes and the lighting i was watching revenge of the sith with anakin you know uh, as he bows down to the emperor and you know as his hair's all like frizzy uh, and he and he kind of knights him darth vader i was like what is this that is revenge of this that moment there is yeah, like watch it back right watch, watch it back i swear they do it on purpose like the way they uh, have her hair very much like Anakin. She's looking up. It's like a red background, um, and yeah, like I, I just thought, what this is so so good. Um, so yeah, great. Uh, Tori was great this season. I really enjoyed it. Uh, my next best moment, you know, I'll probably say just Silver overall. Um, obviously, I mentioned it before. His acting, his presence. He's bigger than everyone else. The way how like he just cre keeps coming to Danny over and over and over again, whether it's in the sauna, whether it's the charity thing, and uh, that whole thing was great when he uh, when he kind of when he knocked him over and, and knocked the bonsai over, and uh, just how uh, you know how much resources he has and uh, the, the lengths of he'll go to, you know whether if it's you know obviously doing what he did to crease to you know manipulating the students to getting the senseis in i just love the power that he has and um uh, he does it with charm as well and that guy thomas e. griffin as a performance as well like i said he retired from acting for about 15 years and he came back for this so um i, I wish i saw more of him growing up because like i said i loved terry silver i thought it was so good he was so much bigger than danny and stronger and you know he was a sensei and they, they never had a fight obviously yeah, I said, give him, him a lightsaber. Give him a. Did you see him with the sword, with the samurai oh sword? Oh my god! I was like, oh what? My god. Why is he better than everyone in the in the uh, sequels with a lightsaber, like uh, with a sword? I, I was shocked. Like the guy's nearly sixty years old. He's, he, do, do you know in real life he's the same age as uh, Ralph Macchio, even though he plays his sensei. Uh, and you know in the Karate Three, he's so much bigger. Yeah, they're the same age. He's like two months younger 
Uh, sorry, uh, Luis is like much younger roommate. than me. My college roommate was six four, and I'm five nine, walking yeah. around like I got go. a giant next to me, and they're like, "Is that your dad?" I'm like, shut yeah. up. And it's even funny that he's like, uh, you know, veterans with crease, but he's really Larusso's age. Like, it's crazy. Um, and yeah, that his whole performance, uh, the fight scene at the end, the fight scene with Chosen. You know, and I love the build up to it as well. Throughout every episode, he could have attacked them several times. Obviously, he did give Danny a beating, um, which knocks his confidence and everything. But obviously, the witch grew. You got the payoff at the end with the, uh, you know, uh, with the kind of uh, you know payback that Danny gets in front of both dojos. But the way that he fights, the way that he like, um, I just love how aggressive he is, and he's he's the frank, quite frankly, the best villain on television. I really, really mean that. And I, I wish he got accolades. As Damon Targaryen is good. right there. Yeah, like true. he is right there. True. That dude is doing some really yeah, he's creepy stuff on he's television. Creepy, yes. Yeah, yeah he's but creepy. like Silver, literally. But don't, Matt Smith yo, is a fantastic actor, and he always has been, really. But this guy, like I said, he's retired. He's retired. He's best known for a laughable villain. In Karate Three, which in I a like. movie with fifteen, it's fifteen percent on Rotten Tomatoes. A movie exactly. that, like, if that that did not get him jobs, right? No, and it, it retired. When somebody came it back and his said, career, "Do that again." Yeah. How many times <laughs> does that happen to people where they're like, "You're gonna come back and redo this?" Not redo, but like, re, you know, come back to this performance that people, yeah. most people, do not care for on the masses, and we are going to revive it. That is what I think the. Yeah beauty of this show it's the writing really yeah, the is, writing was better this year as well resuscitating these characters and that nostalgia in a way that the force awakens like I, made me think was the was a good way of doing that and then now it's like the this time is yeah, the yeah. way this is the way yes definitely this is the sequel this season or whatever cobra kai in general is a sequel to the karate kid 3 absolutely um just this season even is a direct sequel to the karate kid 3 everything like, you get Force Jessica awakens Andrews, is you get the not call back oh, Jessica, to the yeah. bonsai trees which were yeah. in the shop my bonds which were the trees Silver, that he ends up putting up Crease. for uh, auction yeah. you get um mike barnes you get mike barnes the whole contract thing and all that and Crease. then you get uh the call back to terry silver's master kim sun young Going mm -hmm. back to that and then pulling all of his Flashbacks. disciples. Yeah, yeah. So it ended up being that we did see Kim Sun Young in the scene yeah. with Kim yeah. in the in, when she's doing the rice thing, which mm. is funny because I what thought American football players do when they're trying uh, yeah, to yeah, yeah. Boxers their do hands well. better yeah. to catch and yeah, exactly, stronger, yeah. which I thought was old like school things like an eight year old yeah. girl to be doing yeah. it. I was like, okay, well, she's gonna be a mercenary someday. Yeah. That's like the black did it as well, yeah. Yeah, because that I thought it was a. I didn't know he was real either. Because in the in the in three, oh, obviously he, plays, he just it could be totally interrupts some training. Yeah, yeah, you don't know, and you know he's real. And um, yeah, the the flashbacks were great this season. Um, because I know some people didn't like the whole Vietnam stuff, but I loved it. Um, seeing Young Crease and Silver and and yeah, and and the old master that was great. Well, so please, is what's that your... to assume that the scene where they are in the where young crease and young silver which those mm. guys are just like creepishly accurate yeah, right? them. the yeah. way that the, the head structure of young john <laughs> crease they were like good. we He's found good. the exact head shape yeah. of yours and we just yeah. like we're not going to see anybody else today this is the guy oh dude even that scene oh he because like... he says the thing about i got i got yeah. this kid. he's got the and same name like, as oh me. you're like oh shut up man, yeah, man. Shit. You know, yeah, yeah. The show that was escaping me, Boggs, of what is doing this, but mm. in a reverse way, mm. is Better Call Saul. Never seen it. Better I Call want Saul is Never doing is is the in is the reverse yes. uh, okay. way of doing I get what you're saying. where you're yeah. going backwards Prequel, instead yeah. of forwards and you're paying off people who you're learning how they got to be yes. able to make the decisions got that it, they made it. in the show you already okay. watched. Now Good you're point. it's Good point, the yeah. repercussions of the actions they made in the movies, and now okay. they're following these forward. I think both of these shows are doing an amazing job of like such slow one liner payoffs hmm. that make you go, Oh yeah. It took yeah. me a second. Yeah, right. I did not so I got a couple more Andrews. And I, I got a couple like, more highlights. Yeah, <laughs> Jessica like, Andrews. Oh, it was so house. nice seeing her again. So nice seeing her. I do wish though she got a scene with Danny. But is that uh, her sister? 
Are we to assume that's cousin. her sister? It's a cousin, right? They they said that. Is that what they? Is that what they? Yeah, said? the cousins. That's why she knocked. He's like, your cousin's coming, and she knocked, and she was there. So and she obviously said because I always thought, how did Danny meet Amanda? Like they've not addressed it in the show, but obviously, she, yeah, this Jessica bar said, from Ohio. Yeah, right. Jessica said, obviously, you're my cousin. You moved to LA, and I introduced you to Danny um, because yeah, there's a lot of Ohio flash callbacks because they talk with each other. To you know, she goes, I need to go back to Ohio in the movie. Because she leaves about halfway, well, the last third of the movie, of course. Uh, but yeah, I've got a couple more highlights, but tell me your next one. Okay. I need to... Okay. There was like a little bit of it that's a highlight and a low light. Because I really okay. enjoyed watching... Uh, what's his wife's name? Amanda. Amanda. Hmm. Watching Amanda fight in the bar. Only no. to have... Yeah. Um, God, why can't I remember Miguel and uh, what's the daughter's name? Uh, uh, Sam. Sam. It, it's such simple names, right? Like they could be anybody's names. They're not like that, you know. They're not, it's yeah. not like I'm talking about Game of Thrones where it's like right. Rhaenyra and Damon <laughs> and all these like really fancy names, which all do kind of sound similar too. But yeah. that scene of Amanda having the realization of like, shit. Hmm. Yeah, right. when she goes, oh, silver, like, no, when she no, spat no, the water, no, no, silver. No, 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 no. Not oh. even that. Yeah. It's like, she has been through so much bullshit, and she's been yeah. so resistant to the bullshit, that somehow in one bar fight, she mm. has the oh. realization that she's like, oh, wait. Danny's right. <laughs> Danny's right. Like, 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 have I just been, yeah. did, did I, did my previous life, inspire me to go find the guy who was not only a car dealer but a karate champion and i used to fight when i was a kid and this is something that like she was going to become a different person but also live tangentially through him and Mm. now it's like all kind of come full circle but like like i said it was with jessica's discussion about silver as well like no yeah yeah, yeah, she's like no no no, 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 he he was messed up Anyway, yeah. that that was mm. the highlight of it right the highlight mm. of it was she has this realization of it yeah and it kind of cracks open the doorway to ah screw it let's just yeah, beat yeah. the hell out of these people yeah. let's just get yeah. out of here and i loved it that they beat them up and just run they yeah. just flat out run and then they're in california next time you see yeah, them there's exactly. no police there's no yeah. nothing they just exactly. knock the high school bully right out yeah. lucky sam and was there to kind of save think, him i think sam could use that for years mm. for years on her yeah. mom where like exactly. if sam gets in a fight she's like you remember that time i yeah. kicked the school bully's ass <laughs> in a bar yeah when i was 17 exactly. like come on like, i'm good yeah. i'm good no no laundry for a month yeah so off the back of that yeah i mean jessica was awesome to see i didn't at all think we'd see her but yeah it was so good that she was in and of course you know the real the actress who plays her that is blake lively's mother who who that actually is so yeah that's um that's who actually yeah um but yeah sam was uh yeah absolutely and um that's the, ryan sam, reynolds's mother-in-law right and uh sam sam was better this season as well sam is my least favorite character in cobra kai i'll be honest but she was a lot more likable I will say, um, you know, getting kind of going along with her dad this time instead of fighting him all the time. She kind of went along with like, no, dad, we need you. You know, let's 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 get you know Miyagi back or you know, um, and I'd understood her mental health stuff like a little bit more because of, you know that pod flash thing that she had. I thought I enjoyed that. You know, she's fighting herself, and uh, you see all the things that are going on in her life I, I kind of enjoyed that it's just so her. she was a lot more likable yeah um so my next one is i'm gonna say the return of mike barnes um like i said he is my favorite of, of danny danny's villains and i for some reason i just loved how aggressive he was in, in karate kid 3 i just loved it like because like, johnny was fighting for like to be the coolest in school kind of thing and for the girl really chosen was for the whole for the death on it he's a mercenary like yeah, he's gonna right. kill that man An assassin. Like, yeah, yeah. but but he was it, for me it just made more sense he was fighting for a contract he's like this is silver's after me 50 percent kobe kai sign this contract so i can fight you and that's it and that's and you know he he even fucking 
you even beat the shit out of Jessica once as well in in three. So um, yeah, he was brutal. You know, he nearly threw him off a cliff when they got the bonsai and he's climbing up. And yeah, the, he came into that uh, bonsai uh, business thing like three times and wrecked it up each time. So I just loved how like you know not personal and like I'm I want this. Um, you know, abusive about uh, Miyagi a couple of times as well, calling me a few ra- racial slurs. Like I just loved how aggressive he was. So seeing him back, he was my favorite of the of the bullies. Uh, and yeah, the way that they gave him a character journey of, um, I, I, I so appreciate the way they apologize. Like he apologized yeah, to Danny, like, yo, when the, when, the, when the store burned, yeah, I so bad for him. He was I like, did, so did literally I. just showed up here one time. I know, I know. And you burned and down that's silver, so that's what silver can do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That is, that, that's like it, man. That's literally yeah. what happens in it, man. Three is they burn right. down the school and then he okay. has to like fight back for the rights for the school. Right. I was like, right. holy shit, this is like, like, why would you do this to set yeah, this yeah. man off? And that's why exactly. they happened. They did and it then, to set him off because he was more because yeah. Silver knew that he's more controllable in the rage state than he is mm. in whatever Zen state he was right, right. suddenly found himself in uh, whatever sanding a nice piece of mahogany down yeah, into yeah. a table like he was saying yeah. but that was just so and, good to see the having over the season of how they were able because he only was in three yeah. episodes two the finale was in, and was in, episode was three, three, three nine and ten because he's the, uh, he was in he's nine. the driver of the car. In, yeah. Oh, technically, uh, yeah, yeah. In the last second. And then yeah, he's in 10, yeah. right? So you only see yes. him three times. But the ability mm-hmm. to have that payoff mm-hmm. come through the whole time. And then you, the thing we all wanted, it, once you saw him, you were like, okay, either he's going to fight Johnny. Yeah, or they're going to fight with each other. Yeah. Or they were like, what if we gave you both? And yes. I'm like, whoa, this is sick. And, and leave crazy. Danny behind. I looked yeah. up. That guy's yeah. not busy. Yeah. He's not well, busy. He yeah, I really back. hope he comes back. But obviously, having him back, um, you know, I geeked out. I absolutely geeked out. And just the, the sort of lines in here and that. Yeah, yeah, big dude. Because he does cry. He, like, he's, I think, I'm pretty oh. sure he's a black belt and stuff. And uh, having that, having him apologize to Danny about how, um, you know, aggressive he was back in the day and you know how he was and then obviously chosen coming in and see like that's the kind of video game stuff that i've envisioned like as a nine-year-old like oh i wonder what would happen if chosen for mike barnes or what happened after karate 3 like and it literally plays out in front of me like 25 35 years later and then having that scene i got a comment on that like timothy zahn writing the writing the Thrawn novels right, like right, what yeah, would yeah. happen after right. and these are like yeah this is what it's like a video after. game okay let's pay chosen against silver you know let's play johnny against they and are having, out of people to bring back yes from from the ogs definitely yeah and then having the scene of first of all the 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 rocky music when they're all singing and oh, i mean that i the tiger was supposed to be the theme song for the karate kid and then uh, you're the best which is a theme song for Cobra Kai, uh, with for Karate Kid was supposed to be in Rocky Three, but they changed it last second. So um, kind of glad they did for each one. But I would have loved, imagine hearing Eye the Tiger in that tournament finale. I mean, amazing. But yeah, I'm so glad because that's you know it has the same director, Rocky and Karate Kid has the same guy who done the score. Um, so just having the parallels, and then obviously they're both about Italian kids, you know, coming up, having a master, you know, a, a mentor. And they're having a rival, you know, the lyrics of the song, uh, you know, uh, taking on your rivals, uh, you know, uh, uh, and all the lyrics. And I don't want to sing the song or whatever. But yeah, how relevant that is. And they've obviously grown up with that and they've just rocked out with each other. And then we find out who's driving is Mike Bond and it's having the whole Avengers scene thing outdoor in the woods right and you know they're all there and then when they go to silver's house I, I i cried them i cried them when they went to silver's house and you saw mike barnes in the middle with johnny one side and chosen the other side said come on you're next to silver like, oh, like this is like a boyhood's dream of uh, you know for karate kid fans i mean that's it, that's on my that's might be my just that vision that very sorry visual of mike barnes leading johnny and and chosen oh, in Silver's house, you know what it really felt like, like this uh, is it had mad like, get Power bad. Ranger callbacks. Yeah, because they used to do a good job in the '90s of like there was some sense of like these people are doing this 
after these people did this, mm-hmm. like, like mm-hmm. after season after season, even when they changed the team, because usually like one person would hang over, right? So then that one person is there to be like, yeah, that those other shows happened, and they remind you of that. And then there was an episode where all of the Red Rangers got together. You've probably seen the meme. It's all the Red Rangers across, like standing Maybe. on the moon. Yeah. And it's, mm. it looks super corny and dumb, but that's what Cobra Kai is. It's just like peak corny and dumb. And it's just like the best of it. And it's like good writing, but it, they know it's fan servicey in the sense that it's like going to give you what you want to see, Yeah, which is like, exactly. it's the perfect show for a Saturday morning. It is, it is peak Saturday morning television that people actually care about while they were making. I have one last one that I want to mention, but do you have any, do you have any more um, highlight moments? I mean, just seeing the flashbacks lining up at the in the last fight mm. of going through the yes, three definitely. steps of the quicksilver process. Yes, man quicksilver. can't stand, yeah. man can't fight, yeah. man can't breathe. Yeah, man and he's kind of parrying each one, every and one of them it against him. And the cranking, of course, he mocks. Can you the imagine being it. a teacher and actually having your students around you and being yeah. able to? actually apply the lessons that you've been teaching them for five years trying to get mm. them to listen to you for five yeah. seconds and to actually like may like see how this works mm. and he's like he never throws a punch he mm. pushes yeah. back right? like he, yeah, it's you defense. know it's yeah. defensive it's 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 not with force attacking it's mm-hmm. sideways right there, there's he doesn't a strike first more. he does not strike first he never yeah. strikes that's first. not me arguing way it does that where you see silver mm. kind of like do the turn yeah. around he gives like the the kind of like glance around everybody like mm. i'm gonna kick his ass and then he swings right he comes mm. right in for the first strike and dan's like yeah right bro i knew that was coming a mile away he's like i've been fighting johnny the cheap shot before. yeah the cheap shot the no honor thing which is why you know chosen had him beat uh but obviously he he got him back with a cheap shot uh of course shout out to chosen as well in this whole series you know that his character arc giving him a backstory with kamiko you know the humor that he's bringing he was laugh out loud hilarious i thought Bro, he, he left great. her a drunken phone call yeah it was one it was of the saddest cute. things yeah, in the whole season was, I know. <laughs> okay bye nice <laughs> the end, you. um yeah. okay bye <laughs> okay, my. <bye. laughs> I was yeah, like, "Oh hilarious. my god, that was so cute!" Because yeah. I thought when he intru- when she introduced him, I thought they were a thing then, or I thought there'd be a couple then. Uh, but it turns out not. Or you know, no, they see. definitely seem more like uh, like church friends, mm. you know, yeah. like, like yeah. family, like extended, right. like you know, familiar people that you that you're yeah. around all the time, mm. and you, you have to be around. So it's like, okay, I'm gonna be nice to these people, or else life's gonna suck. And she's naturally. An extremely nice person, as we saw yeah. when Danny went back. And what was that, season four? Three, I think. Three? Yeah, when he goes to Okinawa. So my last one that I'll say now, before we start to wrap up, is the scene. I didn't, I don't think I got emotion on it, but I, my reaction was, oh, is when Kreese is having his counseling uh, session in prison. And he has the whole um, kind of flashes of all the people in his life. You know, whether it's Tory, in, all in, in the chair or opposite the counsellor, whether it's Tory, you know, whether it's um, uh, a young version of himself, uh, whether if it's Silver, all the people in his life that he's had uh, some kind of, uh, you know, connection or um, thing with, which is why he is how he is. And obviously the soft spot we know, because they addressed it last season, is Johnny Lawrence. And when they did that flashback, Oh, sorry, not the flashback of the de aged or um, whatever they did um, of young Johnny. I, I couldn't believe it. I thought it was amazing. I thought it was amazing. Like the uh, deep fake thing, I think it, they mm-hmm. used. Um, I couldn't believe it how good it was. Um, I just never thought, because upon That's watching the, the first Hammer season. Stuff from social network to like yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, right. 12 years later they're like look we could put a headband on yeah, his I mean, head and you'll he won't see it we've got thing. luke a, a young luke and this young johnny they're, they're the best deep fakes i've seen in in like any live action thing it was really and good. yeah I, I you know what i haven't i don't rem- i've only seen that episode once i don't remember the voice because i was just so transfixed in like like I was trying to spot flaws in it and the hair was great. The jacket, the youthful look. And then the, seeing the older one, after the older Johnny straight after, I just thought it, was so, so good. it hit me. It hit me. 
like, oh, damn, like, because watching the first season, you know, back in the day, I I thought that, oh, they could, like, the age people, like a young Miyagi or, because that's what everyone wants, right? Everyone wants a young Danny or Miyagi, what, that kind of thing, uh, because that will, you know, that will be an iconic thing. But of course, that's dangerous because he's passed away, etc. So, and he's, you know, he's a, an iconic guy. But even if, like, they had it with his back, you know, back to him or, like, him doing a cranky in the background, having a young Danny and Johnny, that kind of thing, that's what everyone's envisioned when thinking of a oh, flashback. you know what would be great? Because we didn't really get a lot of, like, Daniel-centric flashbacks like we had mm -hmm. been getting in the past. Even though we mm -hmm. did, but they – it seemed like there were some moments that had been recreated mm -hmm. right? the yeah, show yeah. in seasons yeah. prior, right? Mm -hmm. If you could just have one mm -hmm. where Daniel's, like – it's the end. It's in the final episode, right? Final mm -hmm. episode of the show. Mm -hmm. Shooting a shot here. Daniel opens – First scene of the last episode of the show, mm -hmm. Daniel pulls back the wooden doors mm -hmm. and just sees the shadow of Miyagi doing yeah. his movements out on the cool, lake yeah. and he's mm -hmm. balancing on the lake, right? He could, he's doing the balance board perfectly. Somehow mm -hmm. it never even teeter totters. He just like jumps off like some Yoda shit. Hmm. in episode two yeah and you're yeah, like yeah. oh my god like it's because in that shocking. way danny would be an adult i would not seen a danny uh, an older danny i want to see something right. to the effect of their best shot at like if we see a moment where it's because going back to season one, it's been so long since I watched season mm -hmm. one, and I really want to do a rewatch because now the show just has so much payoff throughout the whole thing when right. you can tell how much thought they put into it. But knowing the exact timeline of like when Miyagi died, because Sam mm -hmm. knows they have Sam mentioned it. Miyagi. I, so I, yes, I think she, I think Sam was nine. I want to say Daniel's. What's the biggest decision? Like, did I need Daniel to have made a massive life decision? Mm -hmm just before miyagi dies mm. and he tells sam about it and mm. then you see that like there's like a there's a conversation and he imparts some wisdom and the show is able to like show you the moment that leads up to him needing to talk to miyagi mm -hmm. that gets him over yeah, that that would be great be and great. i think that would just be fantastic like if he's like if he goes from owning like a car lot we don't know daniel's mm. whole rise to power i would love to see mm. the the you know the cm gets money from because he wasn't rich was he money rise to power like yeah. a whole episode of like how he went really to that's a, yeah, that's he was a bright. really he hard was thing to do yeah. to own as many car yeah. dealerships as he does yeah. in los angeles california like good on him for being mm -hmm. a you know a kid who we really didn't see a lot of like life promise in besides the fact that he was good at karate in the original mm -hmm. movies like it wasn't and he was like, a nice guy you know, except for that yeah right like he um, washed cars i didn't think he was gonna yeah. sell them yeah, okay. because in the third movie as well, he chooses not to go to college to open right. his his mom gave him money to enroll at college and for like rent and stuff, but he uses that to open the bonsai store with Mr. Right. Miyagi. So he doesn't have money. Yes, absolutely. We know I Amanda. Need to know does. the story of like Sam, um, do you know but... how I started the dealership? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like like but, I yeah. worked so hard on... Maybe Miyagi left him money, who knows? Could have, totally could have, and mm. where it could have been, you know, it's clearly Miyagi, left him I've done his this house. bonsai shit as long as mm. I can. Mm. What can we do to maintain the bonsais and move on? And then mm. Miyagi pulls out this like thing, mm. this endowment of like, yo, I've been saving this for the right time. Are these worth anything? And then they're like World War II bonds. And you're like, holy shit, it's millions of dollars. And Miyagi doesn't know what it's worth. He just wants to go do some yoga in the backyard. He's like, Daniel, son, you can have them. You know, I thought they were going to do it for a split second when they had that time capsule room, when they were bringing yes! kind of Danny back. I thought, oh, no, are they going to like have like a shadow or like, like, is he going to have a vision? I thought, oh, they're going to do it, but they didn't. So but it was still a great scene, you know, having everyone there in the in the Miyagi do dojo. And, and they kind of do that, right? Because Sam's has the moment where she said, you know, I came and talked to him, mm. right? Like Sam said that, and, yeah. which is weird because 
Daniel said he hadn't been in there and mm. Sam is like, no, I was in here and I had this moment. Mm. And he probably didn't know that. He maybe wasn't aware that her yeah. Miyagi had those. You know, moments. I was thinking he might have died in that house, you know, like oh, in you know, canon wise. Yeah. As opposed to hospital where you might. Right. Have, and that would have been. Uh, yeah. And they were there, you know, that, that's crazy. But let's start wrap up. Um, before we do. Seasons? I do. But I just want to know any quick, obviously we, we talked about any potential future kind of uh de-aging stuff or uh deep fake stuff but so any other theories left, right? they have they haven't officially announced it um but it i think seems a few like we're, we're ago, getting close to like yeah. like and also I, I think that the actors need to move on as well like you know uh i'm sure they want to do other things you know they've been doing it for a, you know a good six years now so i presume especially the younger ones i presume they want to do other things so i think personally it will be the last season um and yeah it is like what, a world what else can you do but like, a world uh, tournament yeah. like you've that's, kind of ascended like you've gone straight exactly. from all valley you skipped yeah. america and you went straight to the world exactly it was so yeah two, any this is the junior goodwill games the might d2 the mighty ducks this <laughs> is going to be the junior goodwill game season of cobra kai but it's sure. going to be as epic and you're going to see every i want to see brazilian jujitsu mm. right i want to see like American, you know, uh, or Greco-Roman wrestlers, right? Like mm -hmm. I want to see the world's mm -hmm. best fighters, and I yeah. know, I, I don't think I would trust any like any other, you know, show fictional mm -hmm. production to handle yeah. it and give each one mm -hmm. their own due and their credit because and like over Michael the Wolfram years you have seen the that. Yeah. you've seen the growth of like they're the what used to just be a throwaway a dude they fought mm. in the first round now it's somebody they've sort of plugged in throughout the season and it means something and it's growing mm. and, and it you know and and it just keeps getting better and better and now you get uh the new girl who helped out what was her name uh danny devin devin and now you get devin who was sort of in it last season right she mm -hmm. was in the female division when they announced the female yeah, fighters and, and now they've kind of grown her along and i think that it's just yeah it's so uh, from the tournament um i kind of wish they have like an over 40 section yes that's yeah, oh my god like i was like gonna say adult that. section yeah so they can officially have like silver and then Miguel's dad johnny, can fight johnny. Yeah, yeah. holy yeah, shit something like Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so character wise, I think Crease, um I'm not sure. I mean how are they gonna do this? I, I guess okay, he's so gonna do you think they they okay. Do you think he successfully because he's kind of on the run now, right? jail? So he can't because like there's definitely like two loose it's like an inception dreidel, right? Like at the end when the inception top. You either hmm. think the cop said he's dead, or the cop said he escaped prison and we don't know where he is so yeah. then you have two different things going into season six which is is he dead mm. or do they think he's dead which means they're gonna let their guard down and then get all happy dandy for three episodes and then crease will show up and then something bad will happen right mm. or do they think he's on the run and mm. he could do some dangerous shit to us i, th I think they i think they think he's on the run Okay. Um, because they're gonna know he's not. He didn't there, kill right? those so, guys, right? So they would have been like, "Yeah, he yeah. had Jello on his shirt and popped up and beat the shit out of us." And then I did actually laugh out loud when when that happened. Like, oh my god! And then he um, licks it, and then everybody <laughs> gives like the Star Wars like one second hold on their faces so they can react, yeah. or they're like, "Did you just yeah. like that?" <laughs> so I, I, that's what I mean. I'm not sure. So brutal too. We didn't really talk about mm. the crease stuff. Like you mm. talked about it a little bit with the flashbacks, but. His physicality at his age yeah. is just like, it it's is great. so, oh man. <laughs> and the, the prison he's guys call him Yes Sensei. Bro. Like, I love that. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know, because he can't kind of rejoin Cobra Kai because he's on the run. But I think he will try and reach out to Tori. Uh, and I think, I think he will team, I think 
he's either going to sacrifice himself for Johnny or do something for Johnny or have some kind of re- maybe they maybe they're too far gone because Johnny really really despises him. But like, so how I'm, though, if he's on the run, I'm so grappling. Like, how is this man going at to the like, tournament somewhere? I don't know. Like, yeah. are these people going to see him and be like, we're going to call the police? Like Amanda, so many times, Amanda yeah. is so quick to pick up the phone <laughs> and be like, let's just call the cops yeah. and like never <laughs> call them. Yeah. And then, but like, she would do that on a moment's notice of like, I had a restraining yeah. order yeah, against true. this guy. No, 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 he has it against her. Oh right, he has <laughs> it against her. Yeah, and so but, was, like. like yeah, I think I think because I think he, they're they're going to kill him in in Cobra Kai. I, I do because he's at that age. I I think it will be a, a a decent story out for him to to die because I think I think one of them need to die. Someone needs to die in this in Cobra Kai. Whether if it's Danny Johnny, he's Silver, definitely the Chris, lamp. chosen he's someone like, that. like we don't. He, he is if you believe that like somehow Wait, they're gonna. Maybe Kreese it's a redemption thing. Back, or not Crease, but Silver isn't coming back. If you assume that Silver's out of the picture, if there's only one well, Silver left, he's going to jail. So, well, like, for, I think he is coming back because he the amount of resources he has, the money, you know, he's on the phone to the DA in Cobra Kai 3 before Mike Barnes comes in. And then he tells him, oh, hold on, do it. whatever. He talks to lawyers. He, you know, I think he has the money, the finances to get out of prison um so i don't think he'll be in prison for long personally i think he will get out um, yeah, I just because don't know COVID... story he has left to tell like he capped off the tournament like Definitely. i don't i don't know if you want to see and he's gonna seek revenge people. of course he will seek revenge um i don't know i don't know exactly yet um but he's not gonna let that just that opens just up end. the f- over 40 division if we yeah, open up exactly. the over That's what I said. Division, Silver against... And then it's like, oh my god. Because yeah, Silver's happens in already... Pass, it's actually a really great run mm. in Dragon Ball Z. That's kind of like one of the iconic tournaments where there is the kids division and it's Goku and Vegeta's sons that end up in the final against right. each other. And mm. everyone's like, oh shit, that's their kids. We got to go watch it. And that's mm. kind of rad. And then the adults come in and fight and they're like, oh, this is crazy. These people are out of control. I think that would be really good. Yeah, where they because kind of last season more of in the, in the under, in, in the under 18 mm. male and then introducing the female. I think mm. it would be cool to pay off if we gave these older guys a chance to beat the shit out of each other. Yeah. I think every time they've beaten the shit out of each other, I am way too worried In one the of them to do the other one. And I just right, want right. us to put all that at the door and just have at it. Yeah. Um, win because, that? well, I was thinking that because technically, Silver has beaten Johnny last season. He had beaten, I'm talking street stuff, right? right. Uh, Johnny last season, Danny this season, and Chosen. Obviously, that was an incredible cheap shot or whatever, but technically, With he has, he has beaten all them that three. That would not be allowed in the ring. In yeah. Place. And obviously, he didn't fight Mike Barnes uh, because I, I think the whole, you know, Sensei. Thing, Mike Barnes other... smells a first round exit in season. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. He can't hang with He them, shows right? he up and he's Chosen. there for one day and yeah, yeah, he's yeah, yeah. like, he he in the face. He and he's yeah, like, for sure. Yeah, you're right, hundred percent. His his aggression can match him with them, but actually, skill wise, he he's not as good as any of them. Unless we get um, a four episode arc of him like sitting in the garden and like finding his zen, and then he like channels perfectly. Like, well, you the say middle, that, and then he's actually you say that zen. because the the arc will be about his wife because they clearly didn't say who she was, and they mentioned it a number of times. Uh, even when you know he came back out the limo, he's like, "Oh, my wife," and Danny's like, "I oh, know, no, no," but who's his wife like that was a clear indication of this is a bigger storyline um but my last point of to um a theory and it again goes to the over 40s thing is that the the kim sensei of cobra kai she needs a female I wonder who it could be, there we go that's my is theory the i think dollar baby yeah hey i like that i like that yes i think they will bring julie pierce uh, back into she's in the Miyagi-verse into the story they better up those Netflix subscriptions again yeah yeah uh, because as you said earlier you know they're, they're running out of OG characters to literally bring, the like the major characters we would have yeah. to go to Jaden Smith 
and then yeah. nobody wants that. But that's not Miyagi verse, right? So uh, I know that's Miyagi what I mean. Right, We're yeah. really running out exactly. of stuff here. Really yeah, out it's just it's just the fourth one then. And there are a few people, and there's some big stars that like Walton Goggins or Mike and Ironside. Uh, they, they 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 weren't Cobra Kai. They were just some. Other Walter dojo. Goggins actively working. Yeah. He's, yeah, of on, uh, Fantastic, he's on a bunch actually. of HBO yeah, shows yeah. for the last 10 years. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Michael Cavalieri is what well, he was, the Johnny Lawrence equivalent. Um, but yeah, the all that stuff, uh, that, that's my last theory, really, that uh, Julie Pierce uh, will somehow, Hilary Swank will somehow enter the fold. I don't know how, because there's no real connect. They, her and Danny never met, maybe, you know, in the movies anyway. Maybe they met else, elsewhere, or she's from Boston. Somehow they'll bring that in. So but anyway, let's, let's give it... Gone. Flashback no to the funeral. Yes, of, of course. Miyagi. Of course, yes, yes, yes. yes. That that I thought that many times. Yeah, yeah. Very on brand. Mm. You don't need to de I, I, I would feel like if it was going, if they knew it was going to happen, mm. I feel like if they know there's another season mm. and this whole, if, they, if they're doing seven seasons, okay, if there's a six season plan and a seven season plan, right? So if they got one more left, you got to just do the tournament. And I think you have Johnny beat Danny at the end. That's why it's called Koba Kai and not Miyagi Do. Hmm. Right? Like it'll be Johnny finally like looking over, seeing his new baby, seeing his three kids all there <laughs> with his wife. They'll probably get married. And then Johnny pulls the crane kick out on Daniel. Yeah. yeah. And boom, that's the show. And everyone's like, yay. And then we're all like really satisfied. And then they're friends and get drunk afterwards. And everyone's right. fine. And that's the moral of the show. Or you have the seven season arc where the finale of season six mm. has the Miyagi funeral scene setting up Hillary Swank. Yeah. To come in and she yeah. says something like, if you ever need me, hmm. here I am. What's just one more lifeline for Daniel to use on who yep. wants to be a millionaire? Mm -hmm. But you know, we really only have, like we said, like one left. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's rank them now as we wrap up. We'll start uh, so, from the bottom. Please. No, no. I, just in terms of where you put season five, that, that's that's real. I think it's uh, I uh, right now in terms of if I'm looking at the show, what it does. It starts mm. characters at A, it takes them to B over the course mm. of 10 episodes. Sure. The whole it, 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 that is what it does. And I, that, I think if we take that as like the scaling of yeah. storytelling over the mm -hmm. course and how much they did and how effective it was, I think it's tied with one for the best. I think it's five and one are to me in tiers. Right. And I think they're clearly up there. Okay. Yes. Season See two. No, no, I, uh, I think uh, no, no. I was just referring. Oh, you got something to add? Or I didn't well, mean rank order. I, I just what, where do you put two five? After basically. that, and okay. then probably three, and then or probably yeah, probably three and four. Okay. I think five is so good because it improved on the things that four introduced, but didn't have enough time to tell. Hmm. And then five improves four. And it's really, we're, we're picking. Yeah, up. exactly. Uh, it's endless. It's endless, really. So I just wanted to know where you put five. Uh, so for me, you told me, actually, um, before I told you, this series is 10 out of 10. And it is. Yeah. Uh, it's must-watch television. It's fantastic mythology, lore, tying up original movies, continuing storylines, bringing through new characters, continuing their storylines. And I absolutely love it. I cried several times through this. It is a 10 out of 10 for me. For me, Cobra Kai season five is the best season of Cobra Kai. So far right now, I could change my mind tomorrow after I watch season one again. Because season one is obviously the, the next best season. Um, and it, it, that's fantastic television, full stop. But season five at the moment is my favorite season. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah. What the MCU is doing, man. It's taking those things you forgot about. And they're like, hey, remember the guy from The Incredible Hulk? Right. we're gonna bring him back and they're yeah. like we're gonna make it cool this show just does it the best fan it service does. the best bar none i don't think any show holds a candle to it until no, until we watch ahsoka and it's the ultimate <laughs> rebels payoff show we've ever seen in our entire lives i mean there's got some work to do to top this, it's like the only yeah, chance I, th I don't see another show that can yeah. do it 
Shout out to the writers and everything. But wonderful series of television that I can't wait to watch again and again and what again. What do you think so, about the movie announcement? Yes. I wanted to get um, your thoughts on that. Quickly. I how was, does that work? Because yes, it was very I, confusing. It is very confusing. I agree. I don't know why they're calling it the Karate Kid. As I said earlier, the Karate Kid is Daniel LaRusso. Call it something else. Or, or do, like, if you want to reboot it, okay, fine, but just don't call it the Karate Kid. We already have the Karate Kid. I think I feel like they're just jumping. I think it's Sony. I believe that they're just jumping on the back. Which they make the this. show, right? Sony makes the show because it shows up before the intro one. It shows up before it when you open up. Now. Yeah, I think I think they have the rights for it, but uh, I think that they're just jumping on the back of Cobra Kai to, you know, uh, monetize it for them specifically. Um, and I, I don't know if it will be a success. What if to be it's honest. the movie? What if they're not doing season six? What if the tournament is a movie? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Because there's kind of stuff. I, I mean, for I, me, I constantly compare the show to anime, but hmm. anime does that, where like the season comes out, and then like during the summer, you can go to the movie theater and watch something that anime's biggest problem is that usually the things that happen in the movies get undone in the last ten minutes of the movie. Like a guy gets a super crazy power move that he if he took it to the television show would probably be a bit overpowered and then they scale him back down and i think cobra kai if they did that it would i think it'd be interesting if they kind of did like Mm. the breaking bad movie kind of thing if they were able to do like a defenders mini series of just like super long episodes of this show that were the tournament i think that'd be rad yeah, uh, but the, again, to be honest, as you said, they've not said what it is. So to my understanding, it's a reboot. I really, really hope it's not. Um, but if they do like a something like a prequel or I don't know, some uh, a movie to I, I don't know what what because it's clear it's not at all clear. No casting announcements or anything like that. So I believe it's a reboot from what the way I understood it, which I wasn't happy with. Initially, I was like, oh, okay, great, the cry, and then I thought, hold on, what are you doing? So, yeah, I'm not sure, really. But I think we need to wrap up, Colin. We've been um, talking too long here, but uh, always a pleasure. Uh, we both love the show, and you're the one that introduced me to it. So big shout out to you. But anything you want to plug or say uh, before we go? I don't know. You can, uh, you can find me over on the Watt Real Entertainment channel over there doing sports some Tuesday nights, talking Star Wars probably back because Andor comes out the day after we're recording yeah. this and i've heard that's pretty rad from mm-hmm. my buddy matt thomas who's on it and got screeners and i hate him and you can also find my creative video content over on the uh myriad of college of charleston athletic sports feed, specifically the baseball and volleyball you can check out all my stuff over there yes uh, Connor's talented boy hit him up on twitter as well which twitter at the underscore c morris wherever i am bought and sold there you go ladies and gentlemen i've been bogs that has been my boy conan and well, well there is no date for the next for season six cobra kai so uh, i'm sure he'll be here to review it on the next uh season review but like i said i've been conan that's been bogs and we'll catch you next time on off the wall